Hey guys, so I've just been watching this presentation by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists and I have some bad news for you. They have pushed the Doomsday Clock for the first time in its history to 100 seconds to midnight. Last year they kept it at 2 minutes till, now this year they have pushed it 100 seconds to midnight meaning that we are closer to nuclear war ever since 1953. Uh-oh! I can kind of guess who's causing this to happen, but for now, let's make our Bop It Tetrises do a fail laugh. Hey, faulty Bop It! They pushed the hands off the Doomsday Clock to 100 seconds to midnight. Oh no, give me a yowzer! Hey buddy, give me a yowzer! Oh no! They pushed the Doomsday Clock. We lost 20 seconds off the two minutes. Alright, now here's the good Bop It Tetris. Well, it still has a spin it problem, but here we go. Hey, buddy, they've moved the doomsday clock 100 seconds to midnight. How does that make you feel? Like watching a train wreck. Yes, like you're watching a train wreck. Give me another yell, sir. Quick, but wrong, life lost. Slam it to start. And if it reached midnight, we'll be saying... I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. It's all thanks to what happened at the start of the year, possibly, when Trump did something with Iran. But, hey. We're still at 100 seconds, guys. The clock could turn forward next year. Or it could stay the same. Or we could lose more time in 2021 but hopefully guys we'll gain more time in 2021 so i'll be on twitch tonight speedrunning abe's odyssey and i'll be going back to electronic game streams on youtube on saturday because on sunday i'm going out for a special meal at an italian restaurant so yeah once the presentation is over I'll put a link to the, the archive video so you can watch the announcement. So, yeah, be warned guys, we're at 100 seconds to midnight. That is not good. And as Pastor Begley would say, are you serious?